Hello everyone, Reza here. This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on creating custom approval actions in Power Automate on top of SharePoint document libraries. We will create a majority wins or a quorum style approval process and we will also apply SharePoint view formatting to further enhance the user experience and also track the approval process. So let's get started with the video. Starting with a simple SharePoint document library, add an approval process for the documents to track the status of the approvals, add a column of type choice, and approval status, plugged in the choices, new approved, pending and rejected. Default value, I will set it to new, click on save. Approval decision will be taken Forum style or majority wins to track the approvers and their decisions. For that, we'll add a person type column. We'll call this approvers response pending. It will show profile photos. The more options, I will allow multiple selections since I will have multiple approvers. I can save. You will repeat the same steps to create two other columns which have the responses for the approval will create custom responses so I'll pick yes and no approvers response yes approvers response no the moment a document is uploaded into this library I would like to start the approval process that in Power Automate we will create an automated cloud flow I'll give my flow a name for the trigger, I will search for when a file is created properties only. Select this and click create. Or I will connect to my SharePoint site, to my document library. Right before starting the approval process, I would like to update the status to pending to give the user the indication that the approval process has started. For that, we will pick the update file properties action, connect to the SharePoint site, the library, the ID property, I will pick the ID dynamic content from the trigger action. We will change the status to pending. We would be starting the approval process for the approvers response pending column. I would like to put in all the approvers claims token information. My use case, I would like my approvers to be picked dynamically from a SharePoint group. My SharePoint site, I have a SharePoint group called Document Reviewers that has the following three users, James, Reza, and Sarah. I've done a video on getting the members of a SharePoint group or an Office 365 group or an Azure AD security group. Place the link in the description of this video. The members of a SharePoint group we fire the REST API call. All we need here is the group ID. We go and pick the email address from the results obtained from this action. And we use a join function to join all those email addresses with semicolon. I will go ahead and copy this and go back to our flow. And right before the update file properties action, we'll paste the SharePoint group members action. Here, I need to plug in the group ID. In my case, the group ID here is 56. Just plugged in that information right here. The update file properties action, we need the claims token since this is a person type column and it's multi-select, so it has to be in the form of an array. Get SharePoint group members action does have that output. I will add an action here. Use the select data operation. Name this. Names token for my approvers from property. Just going to copy d.d.results and paste it right here. For the mapping, use claims value, enter an expression, item of login name. I will click OK. Output of this is what I can leverage right here. And to plug in that output, we need to switch to the input entire array. 
directly pick the output from the claims approvers action. Need to start the approval process. Pick the start and wait for an approval action from the approvals connector. Since we are trying to perform quorum style approvals, majority wins, the approval type for this specific scenario would be custom responses, wait for all responses. We need to take everybody's decision into consideration before we decide whether the final approval should be marked as approved or rejected. So we will pick wait for all responses. Since this is a custom response type, we have the option to decide which buttons do the approver get when they need to take the approval decision. Say we provide a couple of options, yes and no. We'll add additional options here if required. The title of the approval, I have entered document review for, and I will pick the name of the file. Signed to, here it needs to be the email address, semicolon separated of all the approvers. That is already provided as part of this action, which is SharePoint group member emails. That I can directly pick from the outputs property of SharePoint group member emails action. Just plugged in the name of the document and the created by user's name. Add a link to the item. Start and wait for an approval. Wait for all of the approvers to respond. And once all their responses are provided, to decide what the final approval of the document would be. For that, we need to calculate how many approvers have responded with yes and how many approvers have responded with no. Right after start and wait for an approval, we add filter array data operation. I have renamed this to filter array yes. Form would be the responses of the start and wait for an approval action. For the filter condition, Responses, approver, response. That's where the response of each approver would be. This is equal to. Yes. We need to do exactly the same thing for the approvers who have responded with no. So I will copy this, paste it, name this action, change this to no. Number of users who have said yes is greater than or equal to the number of users who have said no then my final decision would be approved, else my final decision would be rejected. To update the file properties, I already have that action here. Once again, I'll copy it. I will paste it right here. Renamed the action, approval status value. I need to dynamically define this status. I cannot hard code it. To that, I will pick enter custom value. Go in and plug an expression or equals to pick the length of the array response that we've received. Length of, we'll head over to dynamic content and pick the body attribute from the filter array yes action. Length of the filter array yes action greater than or equal to length of, once again switch over to dynamic content, this time pick the filter array no action. That is true we need to plug in the approval status as approved, rejected. These values need to exactly match the text values that we've provided here. Once I've completed this expression, I will click OK. The approvers response pending. Since the approval process has completed, there is no response that is pending. We need to clear that person type column and to do that, we have to plug in the expression here, which is the approvers who've said yes, we need to plug in that claims token attribute here. Filter array action is going to provide us all the responses, but not in that claims token format. Get that format, we'll have to add an extra action. We'll use the select data operation. Um, the filter array yes body for the mapping pick the claims for the value concatenate the claims token with item responder 
is the approver from this pick the user principal name i'll make this flow available on my github repo the link is in the description for this video so you can grab all the expressions from there i'll click ok i will rename this action to approver claims yes I need to do the same thing for the users who have said no copy this action right after filter array no i'll plug that here and for the from attribute it would be from the body of filter array no now in the update file properties action we can directly pick the approver claims yes output if there were no approvers that said yes we need to plug in null so in order to do that once again we have to plug in an expression here equals length function length of filter array yes this zero in that case we want to set it as null else we want to set it as the claims token response for yes which is approver claims yes i'll click okay I will repeat the same steps for approvers response no let's go ahead and save the flow the flow is listening to any new file that is created in my document library so let's upload a file document is uploaded the approval status by default is new once the approval workflow process begins we can see how the approval status has changed to pending an approver's response pending now shows the three approvers, all of them coming dynamically from my SharePoint group. This is the approval task for Reza for the specific invoice document. If I was to select the link, it will directly open the document. Leveraged custom responses, we can see those custom responses right here of yes or no. Reza says yes, send the commands which are optional, and then submits it directly from the email itself so reza's response is now recorded this is the approval request for sarah sarah also goes in and says yes in her commands and submits her response this is the approval request for james and james goes ahead and says no and submits his response all of the approvers get the approval request at the same time once all of their responses are recorded, the flow will move ahead and perform the calculation to check to see how many approvers responded with yes versus how many responded with no. The flow has gone ahead and changed the approval status to approved and accordingly updated the approval response yes and no columns. Hence this experience further, since we are in SharePoint, we have the ability to customize the views. One of the views in SharePoint document libraries is called tiles, which gives us a tile like experience of the document. We apply view formatting using simple JSON, we can completely enhance the user experience. I have the JSON pre created. I'll go to my tiles view and head over to format current view, paste my JSON right here, and I will click save you can see the view formatting in action right at the top it shows the final status of the approval process which in this case is approved we get a thumbnail of the document that was uploaded and if i select this it will directly launch the document the user can even select the document and head over to the details pane to see all the details or the properties of that specific document Right at the bottom, we have the approvers information. The approvers who said yes was Sarah and Reza, and the approvers who said no was James. Let's try the same process, but this time by looking at the formatting live in action. So I'll upload a new file. The moment the file is uploaded, the status is new. We get the preview image for that document. Once the approval process begins, the approval process is pending and waiting for responses from all our three approvers. In this case, Reza says no, Sarah says no, James says yes. 
once all their decisions are recorded, we can see on the fly live the status changing here to rejected, which is the final status. Only one approver said yes, which was James. Sarah and Reza said no. This formatting is also respected with the filters pane that's available in modern SharePoint. So for example, show me all the documents that are in pending status or rejected status and so and so forth. Show me all those documents wherein the approval response was no from Reza. You can also expand this further by running a do until loop in parallel to the approval action wherein we can query Microsoft Dataverse wherein the approval responses are being tracked to check to see which approvers have responded so that we can update the status on the fly. Flow gets a lot more complex though in this scenario. Plus, you need additional access to read all the data from the approval responses table. Plus, your flow becomes a premium licensed flow because you're connecting to Microsoft Dataverse. Here is an example of the approval process that is still in pending state because there are certain approvers who are still to provide their response. But we can see how it also showcases the responses that have been made. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.